John Ennis has such a great reputation for producing really great science. I applied to the summer school because I wanted to have more experience, to gain more experience in the lab, and I knew that the John Ennis Center was a really good place full of really good scientists and with really good equipment. So I was looking for things to do in a lab this summer and I came across the summer school online and through the careers department on the website and what really attracted me to it was the fact that we were doing it with a lot of different people, doing different projects, the fact we have a conference at the end and the ability to get to actually present our work to groups of people. Uh, it is really famous so I thought it could be a really good opportunity to improve my skills. Well, first of all, I just wanted to get some more experience in the lab um, because I think it's crucial in order to develop myself as a scientist and um, in order to apply for master's and PhD specifically. And also I applied because um, I'm very interested like in molecular biology and um, most of the topics that were offered by John in the center were biochemistry and molecular biology focused. I knew I wanted to specialise in plant science from last year and when I was uh, looking up uh, summer projects that I could be doing I found this online and it looked really good. So. I wanted to explore educational opportunities in the UK and I wanted to see how science works here, that's right. Um, so I've always really enjoyed like, the kind of pure academic side of the things we've done to university and we get told a lot of things which I found very interesting but we've never had the chance to really like work through a problem. A lot of my lecturers and uh, lab tutors uh, have spent some time here and they've all just raved about it being a really good place. And so when I was applying for the summer program um, we were kind of sort of given a list of the different labs that were offering projects. We weren't really given any details about specific projects, just you could find out vaguely what your, what your lab worked on. And so I could, I, you had to select three labs that, um, whose work you found most interesting and then you um, had to write in your application why you wanted to be placed in those labs. I mean, I, I chose Carolyn Dean's lab, um, A, because I found the work interesting, but B, I'd also actually seen her give a talk. And so I just, when I'd been to that talk, that's the first time I, first time I heard about her work and I just thought it was, it was fascinating. And she also seemed like a really nice person to work for. So. Yeah, so the, the application process is just an application, which is quite nice because um, for some universities, people are used to having interview processes and for jobs, but um, luckily this programme doesn't include that. You write um, a brief personal statement about why you want to do the programme at the John Innes Centre. I guess the key with that is that you need to think about what, why you really want to go to the John Innes Centre in particular because I know it's tempting like, to apply for a lot of things and just copy and paste it in, but um, they really want people who are keen to study partic like, which particular lab and why that, um, the Journey Centre in particular. My first impressions of uh, the John Innes Centre have been really positive. Um, I mean, the weather's been great for one. <laughs> But as well as that, um, plant science is quite diffuse, I think, uh, in sort of individual universities. There's very few of us at Dundee. Um, so it's really quite interesting to be in an environment where everyone, or at least a lot of people, sort of are focused on one thing, really positive about that one thing. And as well, the facilities and the environment are just excellent. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I think it was very, very huge. <laughs> because uh, first days I, I was lost many times, yeah, and uh, about people. I was very impressed by people who, who are here. They are very supportive, they are very, very nice. It's been really nice meeting everyone else on the summer school and like hanging out. And then also in the lab, it's been really fun. Already like done lots of stuff and everyone's been really helpful. Um, yeah. Uh, my first impressions are that this is a really good place. It is huge, it is full of really good professionals. I think one of the things I really liked uh, were the discussions that were had uh, at the TSO because it's a centre that focuses mainly on plant pathogens, so everyone works on plant pathogens but uh, from different perspectives, so you have people who have a more evolutionary perspective, you have people who work on biochemistry, people who work on genetics, and all of that, uh, that comes together to create an integrated picture of the mechanism they are studying. 
and yeah, like the interaction with the different people is very interesting and is stimulating. Um, everybody's very friendly and helpful. It's a really nice environment with loads of rows of really good facilities for the staff. So it's a really, it seems like a really, really good place to work. Well, in terms of um, people, like everyone is like really nice and very, very supportive. I'm not being left alone with anything. I know exactly what I'm doing and I really, really like it. And uh, in terms of John in the center as um, as a place to work in, it's, it's fantastic. Like it's, there's like a lot of things um, to use and to learn uh, a lot of techniques. Uh, in terms of like biochemistry, you can do some crystallography. You can now do cryo EM, which is also amazing. And um, like the support that it's been given to to you in terms of like preparing buffers, media. Uh, or even gels, like it's it's quite amazing that um, that you can get on with your experiments really really quickly. Um, the most obvious thing that you're going to do is do your project in the lab, but um, there's a lot more to summer school than that. So um, they also have like a really good social program, and whether that's by accident or by um, them programming it. It's sort of both because you end up living with all of the students that are also on the programme, which is really great because um, there's lots of like-minded individuals that are your age and in your position and in the same year at uni. And um, they, you can really relate to them and talk to them a lot. Um, the programme puts on social activities. So every Friday afternoon we have, we have some sort of workshop. So that's, that's not lab, so we've done a bit of modelling, we've done some presentations some to do with biotechnology, a bit about science communication, a bit of sessions on like what, you know, further steps, so PhDs, careers, that's been really useful. Um, and then after that, we always have a social. So we've done a lot of, we had a lot of pizza. Okay, so I'm working on starch, so the base of the pizza represents starch itself. Then I've also added some meat because in the end meat comes from animals and in the lab we're people so we're collaborating all the time to work one another with our projects. Um, so my pizza is um, illustrating a wheat plant. My pizza is meant to represent the cross section the cross-section of an Arabidopsis stem. Okay, so we have like the two plant cells and I'm studying fungal effectors and how they interact with the plasma desmata. So here's the fungus and it's um, putting the fungal effectors into the plant cell which are then being transported to uninfected cells through the plasma desmata. So I'm studying some of the mechanisms of iron uptake into plants. So we have the edge of the plant here and the outside. So the olives represent the iron here so you can see the high iron density and so you've got the mushrooms here which are the transporters and so it's about the transporters of the iron into the plant and I'm particularly studying this protein here which I'm going to call BTSL 1 slash 2. Okay. Um, I work with Nicotina Ventamiana, so this green pepper here represents Nicotina Ventamiana, so, um, relative of tobacco. Um, so, the work I'm doing is in the polytunnels on Fusarium head blight resistance in wheat. So the white mozzarella represents the polytunnels because they're white, and I also really like mozzarella, so I put tons on that. The yellow peppers are the sunlight because it is really, really hot in there. The green is the wheat plants and the mushrooms are the fusarium that I've injected into the heads. I've really enjoyed the summer programme. I've just really enjoyed being part of a scientific community and doing, doing my own research project and just being able to just interact with so many interesting people and learn about all their research because I've been, I've been to lots of like seminars and talks as well and it's just it's maybe really keen to, um, to pursue a PhD. Uh, I think I would like to stay in science, in academia. I would like to go for a PhD position and then stay like a researcher and then who knows, it's impossible to say in the long term, but I would like to try to help the, the humankind in general. Uh, I think ultimately I'd like to do a PhD, but um, I'm quite keen to maybe have a year out and do something else first, but in the future I think a PhD would be... Well, I think that I'm quite likely to be a scientist and uh, to work in academia. Um, so recently I decided I want to do medicine after my degree here. So uh, when I applied for this I was full on plant science, uh, plant science and I still really am into it. But I've just decided that um, the career, career maybe wasn't for me. Uh, but I'm still really enjoying being here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue my education like uh, to apply for PhD or to, for masters. And uh, probably I'll I want probably I'll go to 
maybe UK or to the United States uh, to to find out the new things in the world because I don't want to limit myself in Russia. I don't know whether I want to go on to do a PhD. Um, I think I thought that I did more before I did the summer school and that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just that maybe I've realised that um, there's more to doing a PhD project than I thought there necessarily would be. Yeah, so I, I think after my undergraduate degree I would, I would like to do a PhD in the future. I think whether or not I do a master's or something in between depends on whether or not I get accepted onto anything. So yeah, we'll see. Probably like science communications, like more. St I would like to stay in science, but maybe not directly like um, so I have two more years of university and then after that I'd really like to go to grad school and whether I go into more of an industry or more academia I haven't decided yet. I would encourage anyone who is thinking about applying or just give it a go because the experience is wonderful. You learn so much and you really develop as a scientist and as a person. Mm -hmm.